Hello YouTuber, welcome and welcome back to Pierre Cooks at Home channel. Today for your own pleasure we're going to cook together beef short ribs. What are short ribs? They are rectangles of beef, about 2 inches by 3 inches, usually taken from the chuck cut. Short ribs consist of layers of fat and meat and contain pieces of the rib bone. They are very tough and require long, slow, moist heat cooking. Let's get started. Watch your fingers at all times. When you are searing a meat, hundreds of new substances between the proteins and the sugars contained in the meat are going to turn into this brown color that's going to release all the aroma while browning. You just want to spend a few minutes stirring your vegetables while you're adding the thyme as well to make sure everything is coated beautifully before you're moving to the next step. When you add your wine, this is what it's called deglazing. You're going to remove the food and excess fat from the bottom of the pan. The tomato is going to bring this richness of the sauce as well as the stock is going to bring the moisture the ribs need while cooking. I'm using chicken stock here but could have easily used a beef stock as well if I wanted something richer. So because you're going to cook those short ribs for about 3 hours in the oven, it's going to have a lot of liquid evaporating. In order to reduce this, you're going to place a piece of baking pepper on the mix in order to retain all the moisture and keep actually trap all the flavors in your dish. Like most dishes, once you bake them in the oven for so long, you're just very tempted to eat them right away. But beef short rib requires a bit more care. So what I would recommend is perhaps to just keep them in the fridge for a bit. So they're going to become firmer again. It's going to be much easier to handle them. So you've been placing your cooked meat in the fridge and now it's time to reheat it again. So what is recommended is to place them in the oven at 220 degrees for about 20 minutes. But in order that to give them this beautiful shiny look, you need to just glaze them with a bit of sauce that is currently reducing with the carrots inside. I think the job is completely done. You prepared your mash previously, you have your carrot glaze in the sauce, you have your beef short rib properly warmed up again and beautiful shiny and you just place a bit of sauce. Look at this, it's just falling off the bone. A pure delight combined with mashed potato. It was a great pleasure, hope you enjoyed this recipe. See you soon, bye!